Good morning, greetings, friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being, and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 31 years of practicing pharmacy, I've seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system. It is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health and nutrition or prescription drugs, we are here for you. We welcome your phone calls. 844-236-6010 is our number, 844 844- 236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity products, longevity business, ingredients, formulations, our Truth Skin Health products, which, by the way, are available at truthtreatments.com. If you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you. 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. 844-236-6010. Try to call in early so we can get to as many calls as possible at 844-236-6010. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products, you hear advertised or recommended on the program, or if you want to join the Bright Side Ben team and help me in my mission to educate the world about the importance and power of a good nutritional supplement program, head to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. We've got all the longevity products up. You can sign up to join the Bright Side Ben team right off the website for a one-time $25 fee. You can start a longevity business if you're an entrepreneur or you like the entrepreneur lifestyle. For $25, you can be in business and you can help change the world via nutritional supplementation, and that is not hyperbole. That is not an exaggeration. Sometimes I wonder how much of our deviant behavior and criminal behavior and sociopathic behavior are related to nutritional deficiencies. You know, if you take things like zinc out of the diet and magnesium out of the diet, you end up with all kinds of mental health issues, including aggressive behavior and violent behavior, and we know that just zinc and magnesium deficiencies are extremely common. 500 different chemical reactions, in fact, in the body depend on zinc and magnesium, two very important nutritional deficiencies, minerals that uh, tend to be deficient in the American diet. That's just two. Not to mention vitamin C, uh, the imp health impact of vitamin C deficiency, the health impact of, uh, uh, of other mineral deficiencies, iron deficiencies, the health impact of uh, excess amounts of sugar. All of these are issues that we can address by getting on a good nutritional supplement program. If you want more information, please Head to my websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. Or if you want to make a business helping replace those nutrients in your friends' and your neighbors' diets via supplementation, start a longevity business. Head to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com, and, and click on the Join Now link for a one-time $25 fee. You can be in business earning thank you checks as well as helping change the planet via nutritional supplementation. All right, welcome back to the Bright Side, friends. We've been talking fluoride now for a couple of weeks, a week or two, I guess. We're told fluoridation is a good thing for us, for our teeth. Studies and reports are presented that show that when you drink fluoride, fluoridated water, you're less likely to have cavities, your teeth are going to be stronger. Now, whether or not fluoridation of water is a subject that people disagree on, personally, I don't think it makes any sense that you put a deadly toxin inside the body just to make people's teeth stronger. It just seems like a, trying, to, trying to get rid of a mosquito with a, with a cannon. Fluoride is one of the most toxic. It may be the most toxic of all the elements. Very, very powerful stuff. Government authorities, mainstream dentists think that it's, there's a positive to putting fluoride in the water because of its benefits in fighting cavities. Others are not so sure, including myself. 
Professor Hugh Sinclair of the Laboratory of Human Nutrition in Oxford, England, and also Professor D.C. Wilson at the Institute of Social Medicine in Oxford, England, write, quote, we do not consider it to be established beyond reasonable doubt that increasing the fluoride content of water supplies is without risk to adults in, this, in the country, unquote. They're being generous. It's a toxin. So whether you're not... Whether it's not beyond reasonable doubt doesn't matter. The stuff's poisonous. Dr. Howard, uh, doctors Howard and Margaret Smith, biochemists at the University of Arizona, they've made their careers out of studying fluoride. They say, uh, they talk about a study that they did that showed that naturally fluoridated areas of Arizona, uh, or in these areas of Arizona, um, there was a low incidence of cavities in children, but it increased sharply in adults, indicating that fluoridation is a kid issue. Why are we fluoridating the water just for children? Also, these uh, Dr. Smith, doctors Smith, I guess they're a married couple, quote, the deterioration of teeth that have been fluoridized is exceptionally severe and difficult to repair, unquote. Now, no one argues the fact that this stuff is a toxin. This is a fact. All you got to do is take a peek at any toxicology book and you'll find this out. The government says, well, we know it's a toxin, but we put such a tiny little amount in the water we're going to get a lot of benefit and nobody's going to have any problems. But the problem is, the real problem is, is nobody knows how much you're getting. You can't control the dose if it's in the water. Once it's in the water, it's everywhere. And by the way, we're not talking about some kind of nutritional iron here or nutritional fluoride here when we talk about fluoridating water. We're talking industrial waste toxic fluoride. We're not talking colloidal fluoride. We're not talking plant-derived fluoride. We're not talking nutritional fluoride. We're talking sodium fluoride and stannous fluoride and fluoride that is a, a byproduct of uh, aluminum, uh, aluminum production and, and plastics produ production. A teaspoon of this stuff is going to kill you. Fluoride is the most reactive of all the elements. It's so caustic. Fluoride is so caustic that it's a, one of its original uses was to melt glass. Fluoride is one of the only things, one of the very few things that will actually melt glass. And in the Middle Ages, they actually used it uh, to uh, make these really beautiful glass designs for churches. That was its, one of its main uses. It was a glass etching tool because it literally dissolved glass. That's how toxic this stuff is. Fluoride burn is hideous and very difficult to heal. The notion that fluoride is somehow good for us began as an experiment, and they were trying to figure out where to dump their waste, dump, the, dump all the industrial fluoride waste that was being produced as the aluminum, as aluminum production proceeded in the uh, middle, beginning and middle of the 1920s. Actually, aluminum mining started go getting going in the mid-1900s, uh, mid-1800s, and that's when they really started to notice that fluoride might be a problem. By uh, the 1930s, 1920s and 1930s, they were starting to do research on what the heck are we going to do with all this fluoride? And they noticed that it made tea strong. Uh, it, it didn't make tea stronger. It reduced cavities. And they said, okay, well, let's, let's do a little advertising campaign, a little marketing, and we'll convince people to, that it's a good thing to put it in the water supply because it actually prevents cavities. And they enlisted none other than Sigmund Freud's cousin, Edward Bernays, the father of public relations, to develop an ad campaign to convince people that fluoride was somehow good for us. Remember Edward Bernays, we talked about him. He's the author of the book Propaganda, a nephew of Sigmund Freud, and he was a scientist of the subconscious. He was the first guy to figure out that the masses could be convinced to do things, not by appealing to their rational mind, but by appealing to their subconscious minds, the things that they didn't know. It's the subconscious is our, uh, the way we process information without being aware of it consciously. So he wrote a book called Propaganda in 1928. Edward Bernays writes in this book, this is a, I got the book right here for a page one, right at the beginning, chapter one, quote, the conscience and intelligent manipulation of the organized habits and opinions of the masses is an important element in democratic society. Those who manipulate this unseen mechanism of society constitute an invisible government which is the true ruling power of our country do you understand how powerful this is he continues we are governed our minds molded our tastes formed our ideas suggested largely by men we never heard of advertisers marketers people selling us stuff all right i'm pharmacist ben 844 is our number we'll return on the bright side right after this
Okay, we are back on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number, and we do have lines open for you. We'll get your calls in our next segment, 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity products, the longevity business, health challenges you or a loved one may be dealing with, if you have a common or success story you'd like to share, especially about our longevity products or our truth treatment products, by the way, truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com, or Truth Retinol 5% Gel. Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, Truth Transdermal C Serum, and Truth Transdermal C Balm are up at truthtreatments.com. Truthtreatments.com got new products coming out here. Hopefully, uh, I'm guessing sometime in January or February. We'll have, uh, actually, next year I'm planning on releasing about four or five new products. You can find out all about our Truth Treatment products at truthtreatments.com. Got free shipping for the month of December. Tomorrow we'll be talking to Richard Gordon, who's written, uh, written a couple of very interesting books uh, his latest book is called The Secret Nature of Matter, and his other book is called Quantum Touch. I've been reading his stuff for a while, so I'm excited to talk to Richard Gordon. He's got some interesting things to say about the human body and about healing and about something that we, I don't talk about literally, but it really is kind of an underlying theme about everything on the bright side, and that is the relationship between, now don't get too freaked out here, the relationship between Newtonian mechanics physics, that is, mechanical physics, and quantum physics. Quantum physics is uh, this powerful idea that uh, the mind and consciousness control everything. I mean, it, co- quantum physics has a lot of really fascinating ideas. In quantum physics, things disappear and they appear spontaneously and they move sp- without rhyme or reason, without cause and effect, and all kinds of bizarre things happen at the quantum level. But from a health perspective, understanding how quantum works, understanding the nature of quantum physics can have really powerful health benefits because quantum physics posits that, or, or theorizes, that it, uh, the fundamental, fundamental energy in the universe is consciousness. It's our thoughts, how we think, what we're aware of. And this is a very powerful idea. Doctors and medicine and uh, the pharmacomedical model in general is based on mechanical physics, Newtonian physics, that we can drug the body or we can use chemistry, we can use drugs to somehow change the body in our interest. Quantum physics says you can use your mind to do it. Very powerful idea. We're, we haven't quite reached the point in our civilization and in our culture where we're, ta- we're fully taking advantage of the really powerful ideas of quantum physics. And the most powerful of which is the idea that our consciousness controls everything. That is a quantum physics fact. That's not airy-fairy, Boulder, Colorado, hippie talk. Consciousness controls everything, how we think about things. That's, that's why I'm always talking about SMEP, spiritual, mental, emotional, physical. Physical is the end. Spiritual, mental, and emotional the invisible energies, those trump the uh, physical energies every day. Anyway, we're going to talk to Richard Gordon tomorrow about his ideas. Uh, his books are Quantum Touch and The Secret Nature Matter. We'll talk about, uh, he's got some really interesting things to say about how quantum can be applied to the physical body and our physical well-being. That'll be tomorrow on the Bright Side. 844-236-6010 is our number today, and we'll get your calls here at the bottom of the hour, as we always do when we have lines open. So before we went to break, we were talking about Edward Bernays, his book, Propaganda. Quote, the conscious and intelligent manipulation of the organized habits and opinions of the masses is an important element in a democratic society. That's the first line in his book. It's just a really, first of all, the book's really easy to read. It's only about 150 pages, but if you are participating in culture in any way, if you're buying food, if you're listening to advertising, if you're participating in, you're not living in a cave, you need to read this book or at least understand what this guy Bernays was about, manipulating the masses for benefit, for public benefit, and politicians of all stripes are doing it today. Yeah, I think, uh, the media does it. Marketers do it. The government does it. One of the first places the government applied Bernays' ideas is in when it came to fluoridating water. They didn't know what to do with the waste. They got Bernays to figure out that we can convince people that it's a good thing to put it in the teeth. By 1950, 150,000 tons of fluoride was being dumped in the water supply every year, and it continues to this day. And now we're, we're, we're not just talking about a toxin here. Okay, yes, it's a toxin, but we're also talking about a drug. Yes, it's a poison, but it's also a medicine. It's a drug, particularly for the brain. It drugs our brains, particularly the pineal gland, which is the most important gland in the brain and probably in the body. And it's particularly sensitive to fluoridation and calcification. Fluoride works by sucking up calcium. 
by reacting with calcium. That's, that's the way fluoride helps your teeth. Is it sticks to the calcium. Fluoride sticks to things. It reacts with things, especially reacts with calcium. This creates calcification in the teeth, but it also creates calcification in the brain. Oh, yeah, there's also a fluoride link to autism. You think it's a coincidence, maybe, that autism rates have increased since 1940 or 1950 dramatically? Hmm. I'm not saying I'm not blaming fluoride for autism, but I'm saying that it can be related. Via, probably has something to do with what fluoride does to the digestive system. That's a big problem. Fluoride messes up the gut, and we're all drinking this stuff, and we're all ha- some 80 million of us have digestive health problems. If you've got a digestive health issue and you don't know what, what it is, th- there's a possibility anyway. I'm not going to say it's definite, but there's a possibility. It's fluoridated water. Drink distilled water or get a water filter. So we're we're going to talk about water filters here. I've been meaning to talk about it. I haven't had a chance to. Uh, probably next week we'll talk water filters or maybe tomorrow. Um, you've got four basic water, or, or water filters. You've got mechanical filters. You've got reverse osmosis filters. You've got distillers. That's, that's, these aren't really filters, that, but they purify the water. And you've got ultraviolet units. Those are the four main ways you can get your water cleaned. With filters, with reverse osmosis units, with distillers, or with ultraviolet units that shoot ultraviolet light, ultraviolet light to detoxify the water. Uh, you can also drink. You can also drink uh, distilled water. I try to drink distilled water wherever possible. I, and I also know about the stuff I read periodically about how distilled water is quote, thirsty water, unquote. It doesn't have minerals in it. And yes, that's true. It doesn't have minerals in it. You'll have to get your minerals somewhere else. But you don't want anything in your water. You want your water clean, pure, in my humble opinion. So we'll talk about water. We'll talk about the filters here in the coming days. I want to continue a little bit here, just a little bit longer, about some of the problems associated with fluoride, which is a drug. It comes in 2.2 tap, milligram tablets. The idea that it's a drug really just highlights the, uh, the problem with sticking it in the water. Why would somebody put something that's literally a prescription drug in the water just to, just to make the teeth harder? That's the theory anyway. Then there's a whole issue with the kidneys. Fluoride is eliminated by the kidneys. That means more problems if your kidney is not functioning correctly, which we know kidney disease is an epidemic. And also, it goes the other way around. Not only does kidney disease increase fluoride toxicity, but fluoride toxicity increases kidney disease because it's toxic to the kidney. And it's running through, uh, as we're drinking the fluoride, the, as we're drinking the fluoridated water, the kidney is being affected. The kidney is especially susceptible to fluoride toxicity. According to a report on fluoride published by the National Kidney Foundation, quote, it would also seem prudent to monitor the fluoride intake of patients with chronic renal impairment, particularly those living in high uh, areas of high naturally occurring fluoride, children, those with excessive fluoride intake, and those with prolonged kidney disease, unquote. Even that's the National Kidney Foundation. Remember here, you can't control the amount of fluoride you're getting. So you can monitor the fluoride intake from water, but you can't monitor the fluoride intake from everything we eat. I can't think of anything that we do eat that's, that isn't going to have fluoride in it because water's everywhere. And, and nobody's using distilled water to make their candy bars or feed their chickens. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back after this. On the bright side, 844-236-6010 is our number. We've got lines open for you, 844-236-6010. If you want to purchase any of the Longevity products, please call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470, or you can purchase products by going to the website's brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. We've got news stories, blog posts, as well as all the Longevity products. We also have, also have videos, all free information. Uh, lots of lots of free information. In fact, everything I do in terms of it, information is free on YouTube, also on our archive page at brightsideben.com and Ben Fuchs Archives, benfuchsarchives.com. I have search engines up at benfuchsarchives.com. Thank you, Peter, in the UK for doing that. And also at brightsideben.com. And also, if you'd like to purchase our truth treatment products, we have free shipping for the month of December. Check out our products at truthtreatments.com, our retinol 5% gel, truth omega-6 healing cream, truth transdermal C serum, and truth transdermal C balm, 
all loaded with vitamin C. Never any preservatives, fragrances, fillers, waxes, emulsifiers, water. Nothing your skin doesn't need or doesn't want. In any of our Truth Treatment products, they're all up at truthtreatments.com. Okay. 844-236-6010 is our number. Just a couple of quick, quick articles that I think are interesting here. And then we'll get your phone calls. 844-236-6010. This is from the journal Cardiogenesis. Modulation of skin tumors by NAC and or ascorbic acid in hairless mice. Uh, oral N-acetylcysteine and vitamin C were able to assess, uh, to attenuate, to uh, reduce, that is, the uh, tumor-causing effects of uh, tumor-causing effects of ultraviolet light. I love NAC, NAC. NAC has been, I've been using NAC since I first discovered, uh, I first discovered it in pharmacy school. They told us that NAC is a, is a powerful liver detoxifying supplement, very important for detoxifying the liver from Tylenol or acetaminophen poisoning. Acetaminophen is the generic name for Tylenol. Uh, so NAC is kept in emergency rooms. I was thinking to myself, well, you mean this is the same stuff you could buy as a supplement? Yeah, it turns out. NAC as a supplement is the same stuff that's kept in emergency rooms for liver detox. Well, we all need liver detox. NAC is a powerful liver detox. And then I started using it, and I noticed that when I was drinking alcohol, I wouldn't get hangovers as much. Or I would be drinking a lot more alcohol without even catching a buzz. This was back in my alcohol college alcohol days. So I just started taking it regularly. I've been taking it regularly ever since. I put it in my blemish repair complex. I discovered it's amazing for liver acne, not surprisingly, because it's a, a, a very important liver nutrient. If you're drinking alcohol, taking prescription drugs, eating a lot of sugar, have any kind of liver health issues, NAC is a must-have. And when you do your NAC, it's probably a good idea to do your NAC with bone broth protein or whey protein because when you do NAC and you do bone broth protein, you get two other, I mean, uh, two other uh, uh, very important uh, amino acids, bone broth protein and also uh, whey protein are sources of the amino acid glycine and the amino acid glutamine. And with NAC, glycine and glutamine are combined in the body to form something called glutathione, which we've talked about in the past and we'll probably talk about a lot more in the future because it is amazingly important for health. Glutathione, which is composed of NAC, glycine and glutamine, you get that in whey protein and bone broth protein, um, the three together form glutathione, which is the body's major anti-aging, cancer fighter, detoxifying element, and we all need more of it, especially if we're t doing prescription drugs or toxing out our body in any way. That means living in America in the year 2016 20, or 2017 going into 2018. Speaking of hepatic or liver health, this is from the journal uh, Nature Communications. Type 2 diabetes has hepatic origins. Type 2 diabetes begins in the liver. I've been saying this for years, not necessarily the liver. I, uh, the, li the liver is connected to the intestine. The liver, obviously, is connected to everything else in the body, but there's a major intestinal liver axis. There's always little axes in the body where two points of the body are connected or, or particularly related to each other. We've been talking about the adrenal thyroid axis for a long time, how the adrenals are particularly connected to the thyroid gland. There's the so-called HPA axis. That's a relationship between the adrenal glands and the brain. And there's also an axis, which I call the intestinal liver axis. The intestine and the liver talk to each other and communicate to each other. And intestinal, when the intestine gets whacked out, it's, only, it's, it's, very, uh, it's a very short jump to uh, liver problems. And that's why 100 million Americans have liver disease in this country. And we're focusing in the wrong area. We're focusing on the liver. We should be focusing on the intestine. Once the liver gets messed up, Type 2 diabetes is very likely. Type 2 diabetes in this way is a digestive health condition, and that's why the first point on the triangle of disease leads to the second point on the triangle of disease. And this base of the triangle, the digestive system and the liver, I'm sorry, the digestive system and the blood sugar system are the key to understanding health and the lack thereof. The digestive system and the blood sugar system, I don't know how much simpler it can be no matter what your health challenge is, I don't care if you have a 20 different things falling apart in your body. The digestive system and the blood sugar system. The digestive system and the blood sugar system. Those are the two areas that you want to focus on. Yes, you need to calm the body down and this whole adrenal thyroid thing is important. But if you want to simplify, the base of the triangle is the gut, that is the intestine mostly, we'll just say the whole digestive system, and the blood sugar system. Keeping your blood sugar under control. 
All right, 844-236-6010 is our number, and good morning to our friend Elaine. What's up, Elaine? Welcome to the Bright Side. Hey, good morning. Yeah, uh, I talked to you last week, and um, we ran out of time, but I did want to um, make a couple comments. One comment on the, the 5% retinol gel. Yes. What do yeah, you think? I have, uh, or I had, I should use past tense, on my hand, uh, and I did like a before and after picture. It was a, I guess, uh, I don't know, are they malaise, malaise or like Mala- a Melasma. Melasma, just this, this massive, I guess, age spot. It was so distinct, and I thought, well, let me try the retinol gel. So I, two or three times over, like, maybe a 10-day period or two-week period, okay. uh, I would just put some on, like, a good dollop size, and then I put a Band-Aid on it overnight. Okay, that's intense. What happened? Yeah, and then, like, by the third time, it just sort of peeled off, and it's been, uh, it hasn't returned at all. Oh, that's awesome. So you did, you applied a dollop and put a Band-Aid on top of it three times in 10 days. Yeah, uh, yeah. and maybe like a Q-tip size. You know, it was, it was kind of thick. I'll make you a deal. Do you have any more retinol? Um, a little bit, yeah. I'll make you a deal. Do you have the before and after pictures? Yes, I do. Send me the before and after pictures. I'll send you a freebie. Oh, wow. Okay, thanks. Okay. Um, your yes. email or to uh, send them them to Ben at K at, or no send them to truth dot treatments at gmail truth dot treatments that's plural with an s at the end okay uh, at gmail okay okay that's awesome and then I'll put your address there and I'll send you a free retinol thank you so much for sharing that Elaine Is, did you thank have anything you. else you want can I give you a little uh, suggestion yeah okay not so, a bad one though don't be a, no don't no be attacking no me in front of my one. friends yesterday okay, uh, I believe it was yesterday you were talking to a gentleman uh, who was getting over his Graves' disease, and yeah. but he had some rotator cuff issues. Yeah, yeah. And um, I would also suggest um, it, to him, I don't know if he's listening, but um, a counter-strain practitioner. Uh, okay. That, oh. A counter-strain practitioner, and they're all over. And we got to take a break. I want to talk. I want to. I'll get you. Uh, when we come back, I'll let you finish up. I want to hear more. Okay. okay. All right. I'm Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We'll be back right after this. Sign. I'm Pharmacist Ben, talking to Elaine in Alaska about uh, retinol gel and skin lightening. And uh, now t- tell me about this therapy for my buddy with the Graves' disease, Dave, if you're listening, hopefully. Uh, yeah. Counter strain yeah, therapy. It, yeah, it's called counter strain, and it's uh, a technique. It's primarily physical therapists, but there are some massage therapists. And uh, if he goes to the website, um, www. J, as in Jones, I, S, C, S, dot com, and it's uh, Jones Institute. <sighs> you cut out just there for just a second, the Jones Institute. Yeah, Jones Institute of Strain, counterstrain, dot com. Okay, now what exactly, I'm, I'm, I think you told me about this one time, but just in, it, just real simply, like you're talking to a kindergartner here, which I am at this because I, I don't really understand it, so just simply explain a counter-strain therapy to a kindergartner. It, for basically, it's um, performed by physical therapists, and it's a very gentle, very effective way to address pain and huh. um what do they do? They move the. T- what does counter strain mean? They move it in a, in a different direction. It's kind of like the exact opposite of what mm-hmm. you would think, and they do a lot with the connective tissue to stimulate the growth of connective tissue. He, basically, yeah. And there's probably you were talking earlier about quantum, and there's probably a quantum yeah. effect. But there's they've already found over 800 points on the body, and when you treat these points then you'll get um, growth, ther- therapeutic benefit. Now is it, are these the trigger points that you're talking about? Uh, they're not trigger points. Those are a little bit different. They're called tender points. So there's, uh, there's a little bit of a histological difference between the two. So, okay. Yeah, so you've got I'm, multiple points in the body. Or is, does this have to do with the, with the uh, counter-strain therapy, or is that something different? 
Yeah, yeah, the counter strain, um, they, they, they're finding this connection between points in the body. Um, and interestingly, a lot of the points are kind of on the same um, lines of like acupuncture points. Interesting. Now you don't do this. You, you don't do this. Do you? Uh, are you a therapist, or have you had it done done for yeah, yourself? This is this is my specialty. Yeah. Okay. So uh, we, so give me just a, in a nutshell what counter strain means. You're pulling the like like if I came in with a rotator cuff problem, you would pull my shoulder in a direction, or you'd work with my shoulder in a way that another therapist wouldn't. Um, pretty much. Yeah. Basically, in a nutshell, you're taking the tissue in the direction of the original injury. You're so re-injuring like, it. You're or you're not well, re-injuring it though. You're introducing the brain that this position is okay, and um, you, so you're minimizing the the de- the inflammatory response. The brain doesn't see it as a problem. Right, and then you, there's an actual palpation. You can actually feel kind of. I don't know if as a kid you put your tongue on a nine volt battery. <laughs> yeah. I don't okay. know. I, I've done that. Yeah. There's kind of an electrical feel. Uh huh. To the therapist or to the to the patient or both? Mostly the um, therapist. I've had a few patients where they can actually feel. Uh, someone called it kind of a like a, a downstream effect or a corkscrew. Wow, I kind of feel this. They feel this or static. They'll kind of oh, it interesting. Feels like, yeah. So if okay, can, so they got counter strain therapists everywhere. Yeah, if he goes to the website jisc.s dot com and ser- un- there's a tab you can search for a practitioner. Jisc.s dot com. Correct. Yep. Okay. Good. And uh, just search for practitioner. Type in your zip code, and hope it's it's a Northwest technique. It was originally born in uh, Ontario, Seattle. Or- okay. yeah, Northwest, Dr. Northwest Dr. United Dr. States. Doctor Jones. He was kind of this country okay. doctor. Back in the fifties and J S J S S C S is that right? Did I say that J S S C S J I Jones J I S C S J I S C S. Okay, yeah. hey, listen. Before I let you go here, do you know anything about rolfing? Yes, you know. And I, as a physical therapist, I've you know I've had patients that have had great rolfers, and then I've had patients that have gotten Not... really torn up by okay. rolfing. So, what do you think just, of the? What do you think as a physical therapist? Just real quick, what do you uh, what do you think of the not you know independent of the practitioner? What do you think of the theory in general? Oh, I think it's great, and I think they have really evolved. They've come a long way uh, in some of their theories. So, they're a newer trained rolfer is actually much more gentle. Okay, you know? gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, it has a reputation for being intense. I've been rolfed numerous times. I love it. Absolutely love it. Yeah, highly some recommend it. Love it. Some people yeah, love yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. I highly recommend rolfing. All right, Elaine, I got to go. Thank you so much for your call. Appreciate it. And we'll talk again soon, I'm sure. And thanks for the kind words about the retinol. Send me an email with those pictures before and after. And then um, I'll send you out uh, a freebie. Thanks, Elaine. Take care. Bye. Okay, 844-236-6010. And let's go to my buddy, the Truth Raider. Hey, Benjamin. Friends and and Family Day. You get some time here. What's going on, Carl? (laughs) That's a wonderful testimony. That's wonderful. Hey, uh, yeah, I'm I'm, I'm recovering. I got knocked over by a car in the intersection a couple of weeks ago, but I'm getting better. My knee's sore and all that. Yeah, you're taking your glucogel caps, drinking your, you're doing your chicken soup and your bone broth protein? Oh, yeah, but I I, I still got to, you know, it seems like it's better than I'll lean, 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 lean down forward on my knee and, Oh, I get, I get that stinging, burning uh, kind of a pain underneath the patella. I guess it's a patella cap. Are you really but, that? Is, did you get you got slammed by the car? It wasn't just a little bump. Well, he, well, he, he accelerated and, and bumped into me, and, and I, uh, you know, I got I got thrown about. Oh, maybe not more. Was than this somebody you know by any chance? But I spun was, out of the way before he didn't run me over. Was this somebody who knew you? No, unfortunately, no. Okay, just checking. I met the real Mr. Magoo. Okay, I got you. Was he an older guy? <laughs> yeah, 85 years right. old. Oh, no, he was Mr. Magoo. All right, so you need Running some nutritional supplements. Oh, you're doing your supplements, though, right? Oh, yeah, I got some BTT. I'm almost out of the, the freebie you sent me. All right, you got to do some, uh, you got to make sure you're doing your glucogel caps, glucosamine, vitamin C, yeah. all the building stuff. Because yeah. you got to repair. You got to repair yeah. and you got to build. Hey, you know, I wanted to comment a little bit on that Flexeril. Are you taking it? Are you on yeah. it now? Are you doing well, it right you now? Know, that's what they gave me. I don't know why they gave me that. The other, the other pills they wanted to give me was Ativan. Oh, that's, I don't know which must... one's worse than the other, Ativan or Flexeril. Ativan's a muscle relaxant. They were trying to calm you down. 
Did yeah. you go in there ranting and raving about the New World Order or anything? No. I, That's I, a sure I way to get those about my sore it. shoulder and my kneecap. And I said, well, you know, the, the, uh, the, the hypocrisy or the irony that I'm trying to exercise my right to be able to use the, the roads for, you know, liberty through locomotion. And then an elderly man is, who, who these, right. you know, it's, it seems like the ones who are, got the full insurance and everything are the ones that are, they get into the accidents, and the ones that, like myself, I've never been in an accident, never hit anybody, never did anything. Well, I'm very knock careful. On wood. That's why they call them accidents. That's why they call them accidents. You don't know when yeah. one's going to happen. Right you know, now, they're called accidents for a reason. My, now, my testimony a little bit with a flex reel, That's when I took. Yeah, is flex reel for the listeners is a muscle. Some, it's a it's an antihistamine know. muscle relaxant. It's flex reel. Yes. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, it seems that I'm not getting the the restless leg syndrome. Flares yeah. that I normally get that it's like an intense tickle throughout the throughout yeah. the legs all the way up into the body. It's at really night? bad at, at night, night or all I, day. At night and sometimes a little bit in the morning I'll get yeah. a little bit of it. Yeah, muscle relaxant will do that definitely. Uh, mm-hmm. Restless leg syndrome is you get these contractions basically, and that's what you're feeling Tickles. when you feel the, Yeah, it's a contraction, Tickles. and with the with the muscle relaxant, that's not going to happen. But it's it's usually related to some kind of instability. In the in the juncture between the nerves and the muscles, the neuromuscular yeah. junctions there, and that whenever that happens, you always want to think electricity. That means yeah. electrolytes. That means B vitamins, and that means essential fats. And also because restless leg syndrome, as well as neuropathies, affect um, uh, diabetics more than any more than any other uh, more than any other group, I guess you'd say. Uh, you always want to focus on blood sugar. Blood sugar and electrical nutrition. That's how you deal with restless leg syndrome. And it's it's right. really, it's it's not a life threatening thing, but it could be darn miserable. <laughs> it could yeah. really be miserable. Yeah. Thirty two yeah, years. What you're talking of about. You've had it for how long? Years. Yeah, I don't know, for thirty two years. That's not a good sign there, Carl the Truth Raider. That means you yeah. better get yourself on that BTT and you better you better uh, yeah. double the dose of the BTT. Yeah, and if you're, to and you're in your fifties, aren't you? You know, by the time about yeah, you're in your 50s. By the time you're in your 50s, it's very unusual if you're subsisting on anything like the standard American diet, even close to it, uh, that your blood sugar won't be thrown off. And blood sugar right. or dysglycemia, messed up blood sugar, will cause problems with your electrolytes. So it's kind of a you know a, ca- a, a catch-22, which one you handle first. The, the electrolyte right. deficiencies cause blood sugar problems. The blood sugar problems cause more electrolyte deficiencies. I guess that's not a catch-22, but that's like a downward spiral. Where one one problem leads to the next, which leads to the right. first, which leads to the next, which leads to the first, etc. Electrolytes, electrical nutrients, and also uh, keep that blood sugar stable. The point number two on the triangle of disease. Carl, well, that's all the time better. we have. Hey, I got to <laughs> I got to go, buddy. Thank you for your call. Appreciate it. Okay, that is it. No more time. We're out of time on the bright side. We'll be back at you tomorrow. We'll talk to Richard Gordon about his books, Quantum Touch and. Uh, the secret nature of matter and we'll continue talking fluoride and fluoride filters and also what you can do in terms of water to drink check out our websites brightsideben.com pharmacistben.com and criticalhealthnews.com for all the longevity products and truthtreatments.com for our truth skin health products i'm pharmacist ben have a wonderful beautiful awesome spectacular day we'll talk to y'all later bye for now 